Hey, what's up guys? David here from Dignited. Today, I want to show you how you can bounce files between one device to another using Telegram. All right, let's get into it. All right, so Telegram is a very fantastic chat application. You can use it to chat with uh, family and friends. You can use it to make video calls and so forth. But the other thing that you can do uh, with Telegram is actually share files between your devices. For example, I have an Android phone and then a MacBook here, and I want to share files from the Android phone to the MacBook. And we know that that is not exactly very easy, although there is a number of um, videos that are I've already done of how you can share files between different platforms but this is one of the easiest ways that I've found all right so on telegram the way that you can uh, share files between devices is actually sending yourself files you can actually chat with yourself on telegram and like other chat applications like whatsapp and the way you do that is you go to save messages here and you tap on it and then you come to files here and search for whatever file you want telegram doesn't really care it can be an image can be a document a pdf a powerpoint a zip file whatever it is uh, you can share i think up to 2 gb that is really huge and then just say send now on the other uh, device that telegram is installed in my case the mac mini you simply have to come to saved messages here and then you can see uh, the file has been sent to you and you can just download it, right? So in this case, it's just a simple screenshot that I made. Telegram is a big platform that is cross-platform. So there are clients available for the Mac, iPad, iPhone, Android phone, Windows, PC, Chromebook, and several other platforms. So it's really a cross-platform application that I use to just share files between different devices that usually don't talk nicely together. And I find this a very huge time saver, right? So with Telegram saved messages, the messages actually save on telegram servers and that means that even if you clear messages on your device or if you lost that device the messages are actually stored on telegram cloud servers right how cool is that and i use this same method to like share page urls uh, share clipboard copy pasted text and all that and it's really really super convenient and this is a very nifty easy uh, tip that uh, i wanted to show you guys all right so if you guys found this uh, tutorial helpful go ahead and give us uh, a like and subscribe to the channel and also comment down there to just let me know any tutorials that you want to see in the future otherwise we'll see you guys in the next one